Hello everyone! I'm really loving my Greenstock Vertical Planter. I set it up a couple weeks ago and it's already starting to fill out nicely. Today I'm installing the plant supports. These are great for vining plants such as cucumbers or tomatoes. I'm not growing those this season. Well, I am, just in grow bags on my deck instead of in the Greenstock. Next summer I'll give that a try in the Greenstock. I live in zone 6B, so I don't have a year-round growing season to try different things out, but let's first focus on this year. I planted strawberries and radishes and bok choy and lettuce and lots of herbs. I've already harvested some oregano, oh, and peppers and peas. You can plant so many different plants in this planter. Back to the supports, I have here a set of three plant supports. They are packed in these cloth bags and each bag has one plant support. I suppose you can reuse these if you want to. And let's see what's inside. First up is a card with instructions and pictures. I'm so impressed with this company. It's a family-owned business here in the United States and you can see they really take pride in everything they do. In the bag there are six green extenders and six ring connectors. This shorter piece is an extender. It clips onto the green stock between the pockets and there are six pockets so there are six of these extenders. This end is the end that clips onto the greenstock planter and this end with a round looking button is where the ring connector will go. Those are these longer semicircular pieces and let's take a look at one of these pieces. Here you can see how it just snaps on and then the connector pieces snap together like this. But this is not the way you should be putting this together, not in the air. No, let's go over to the Greenstock planter and install these right onto the planter. That's the right way to do it. I just wanted to show you how the pieces fit together. Okay, so now let's start with clipping the extenders onto the planter. Yes, I know I have to prune the runners off the strawberry plants, but first let's get the support ring onto the planter. I'll start with the top tier. I don't think it matters which tier you start with. The extender clips on tightly, so you have to apply a bit of pressure and maybe wiggle the planter a bit to get the extender to clip onto it. Make sure it's clipped on securely. It clips between the pockets, so make sure it's hanging on tight to both pockets. Here's another extender I just put on. You can see how the support clips onto the planter and you can see how it's secured in between the pockets to both pockets. And then the ring connector goes from one extender to the other by snapping them onto this button. Yes, I need to prune the strawberry plants so that they'll put their energy into the main plant and not the runners. Meanwhile, here's another extender and you can see how it just clips on pretty easily. So I continued to put on all six extenders around the top tier. And there you have it. All six extenders are now clipped onto the planter. Next, the ring connectors, and in the middle of the ring connector is a hole that snaps right onto the button at the end of the extender, like this. It's jiggling now, but once all the connectors are connected, then it will be much sturdier. Okay, let's go get the next connector. And snap it on the end of the extender. And now I need to connect the connectors, which is pretty easy. One end has this piece sticking out, let's call this the positive end, and the other end has a slot, let's call that the negative end, and you just insert the positive into the negative, and it's done. Let me show you that a little more clearly. If you insert this positive piece on the right at an angle, it goes right into the slot, 
and then it snaps together very easily. So start off inserting the piece at a slight angle, snap the two pieces together, and then onto the extender it goes. Easy peasy. Here's the next connector piece. You can see I'm inserting one end into the other at a slight angle and then it just snaps together and then onto the extender it goes. And now I have just one more connector to attach. And it's all finished. Yay! I have two more bags of plant supports. There are five tiers on my vertical planter and I already installed one on the top tier. So I'm going to put the next one on the bottom tier where I have the pea plants growing and then the third plant support somewhere in between. Here are the six extenders. I'll put those on first. You can see my tomatoes are off to a good start and so is the zucchini, but someone or something ate my cucumber vines. They were hanging over the deck through the rail and I'm pretty sure a deer got to it. Oh dear. Okay, so now I'm going to install the next set of plant supports on the bottom tier where I have the oregano and peas growing. Ooh, I have a little baby pepper growing. Everything really looks like it's growing nicely. Okay, first the six extenders. They clip on between the planting pockets. That one didn't go on so easily. Probably because I have a camera in one hand. It's hard to do this one-handed, but it is possible. Next one is on. Okay, two on, four more to go. Make sure it's clipped onto both planter pockets. And now the last one. And now all the extenders are on the bottom tier. Now for the connectors. They snap on the bottom tier just the same way as they did on the top tier. And again, easy peasy. I like it. Jump out. Okay. Ah. Um, what are you doing? I see it. I see it. I Okay. I do like it. I like it. You like it? Yeah. It's hiding. Here you can see I've got the bottom and top tiers done. Next is the third set of supports, and my planter really doesn't need them, but I've got them, so on they go. It's nice to have a mover base to spin the planter around as I'm working on it. And now, all three plant supports are installed. And that wasn't so hard, especially with my little helper. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!